Hey everybody, this is Robbie. I'm at a 1950 park. And this is the ball field. Over there is the playground area. And they got a soccer field and another small ball field across the way over there. I was over here yesterday and I was searching in the ball field and there's the street where most people park and this area right there in front of the dugout all along here is where I found most of the clad coins I did find a wheat right over here I guess after the game they all congregate over here and congratulate the winners Way over on the other side over there, between the building and those trees there, there used to be a house, a small garage, and a storage shed. That's where I'm going to be hunting today. I'll be back. Well, it looks like I got a quarter signal. I'm going to dig it and see what I got. I'm going to dig a quarter signal. It's in the pile here. Let's see what we... Oh, look at there. Is that what I think it is? It is. Silver. 54. And it's a D. And 1950s park. That is cool. Oh, I love it. And the house, there's a piece of concrete over there stuck in the ground. And the house must have been over there. And this was the driveway area here. Alright folks, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, if you do an aerial view of the places you're hunting, uh, view it at different views like north, south, east, and west. Sometimes you get a whole different picture. You see where people are playing in the parks. Anyway, over and out. Happy hunting. And I hit the playground for a few minutes. I only found a nickel. Anyway, this area of the park had a house or some kind of little garage or something here with a concrete slab. Right over there is where I found the silver quarter. As you see, there's some trees in a straight line. Now they were planted. Usually if you hunt around the roots, the roots that are showing, uh, you might pick up some coins. In this area, there's a bunch of bottle caps and pull tabs. Anyway, like that tree there, found a quarter, clad quarter. And this is it. Well, I'm on my way home. Happy hunting, everybody.